Let's move into the headlines, of course. Bernie Sanders won the New Hampshire primary last night, but one of the biggest surprises was how poorly Joe Biden performed. Not only did he finish in fifth place, he left New Hampshire before his own pre-scheduled victory party. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bernie Sanders' victory party raged all night into the wee hours of 9.30 p.m. <laughs> but this is true. Instead of attending his own party, Biden went to South Carolina. He said he wanted to get a head start on losing his lead in that primary <laughs> as early as possible. To give you a sense of how Biden's night went, this was the banner they hung at the beginning of the party. Congrats on New Hampshire, Joe. <laughs> And this is what it looked like at the end. Joe. <laughs> but that wasn't the only big contest yesterday. The annual Westminster Dog Show was held last night in New York City, and there was a definite crowd favourite. Take a look at this. Here's Daniel, the Golden Retriever. I know. <laughs> the crowd loved him because, of course, you know? But here's the thing. Like every golden retriever in the history of the show, Daniel didn't win. I know. It's an outrage. But at least the internet took it well. Like this person who tweeted, Daniel was robbed, cowards. <laughs> this person tweeted, it's only six weeks in and 2020 gets worse every day. <laughs> Hashtag Daniel was robbed. <laughs> and, of course, this calm, reassuring voice of reason. Did you not see Daniel, you <laughs> bag? <laughs> By the way, here is the dog that Daniel lost to, Seba, the standard poodle. And I'm sorry, <laughs> this is bull... Seba looks like she would send a waiter over to my table during brunch to tell me and my friends to quiet down. <laughs> it's crazy that no Golden Retriever has ever won the Westminster Dog Show. And unfortunately, after his loss, Daniel was immediately demoted to a silver retriever. <laughs> yeah, we weren't sure about that joke either. <laughs> we were like... Is it funny? <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> and you've let us know. <laughs> and finally, we, uh, we told you about the results of the New Hampshire primary last night. Well, there's some sad news to report. Presidential candidate Andrew Yang has officially dropped out. He was always a long shot, but you had to respect Andrew Yang. He wasn't afraid to run an edgy, unorthodox campaign aimed at young people. So let's just take a moment and look at some of Andrew Yang's wild ride. You are getting and so if you want to help me on you, then, like, vote me into office. Oh, the Andrew Yang campaign brought to you by Mountain Dew Cold Bread.